In this video, we will show you how to use Gemma 3 model in N8N. Gemma 3 is a powerful model developed by Google. It has great features such as vision. So if you need to extract information from images, you can use Gemma 3. Let us go to Alama website. You can search Gemma 3. It is the current most capable model running on a single GPU. It has different sizes. For example, we select the 4B model. If we scroll down, we can see that over 4B, Gemma 3 has the vision function. We can make a copy of the command and install the model on our computer. We open a terminal and paste the command, then we can install the model. After it finishes, you can run the model locally. You may watch our previous video on how to run an AI model locally on your computer. Next, we will show you how to use DeepSeq R1 and Gemma 3 Vision in an AI agent to optimize the output. On the N8N canvas, we search agent and add an AI agent node. For now, we are going to use the default parameter settings. On the canvas, we have the AI agent node and a chat trigger node, which has been automatically added. In the chat model, we will add DeepSeq R1 model. The DeepSeq R1 model has been downloaded on my computer via Alama. So, we search Alama. We select the Alama chat model. In the credentials, we select an account. Please watch my previous video on how to use Alama. Next, we add memory. We select the window buffer memory. Keep all the default parameter settings for now. In the tool, we click the plus sign. We select the HTTP request tool. In the method, we select post. In the URL, we will use open router URL to make API calls. We go to open router website. In the models, we can see the Google Gemma 327B free model. It is free even when we make HTTP requests. We click the link to see details. We then click the API tab and scroll down. We click the curl tab. There is URL for making API calls. We select it and make a copy. This is the URL where the Gemma 3 API calls go. We paste it in the box. Next, we slide on the send headers and we'll add header parameters. We select the content type and make a copy. Paste it in the name box. We copy the application slash JSON. We paste it in the value box. Click the button to add a pair of parameters. This time, we make a copy of authorization. Paste it in the name box. We make a copy of bearer with a white space. We paste it in the value box. We need to get the API key. Please watch our previous video showing how to get the API key. I have pasted it after the bearer and white space. Next, we are going to send body data. We slide on the send body. In the body content type, we select JSON. In the specify body, we select using JSON. We click the expression tab. Let us enlarge the window. Back to the open router page, we select this part without the single quotes and make a copy. This is the data we need to send. We paste the data in the expression box. In the body data, we have the name of the model which is Gemma 327B free model. In the content of the messages, it has image URL information. If you do not need the vision function, you can delete the image part, and it will become a normal model with text only. Let us change the node name to Gemma 3 Vision. Back on the canvas, we have the AI agent with the tool of Gemma 3 Vision. We are going to test it. In the chat, we enter what is the image. We can see the workflow is running. But, we have an error which shows that the DeepSeq R1 does not support tools. Until now, DeepSeq R1 model does not support tools. We can use one DeepSeq R1 model which can use tools. We can select this DeepSeq R1 model. You may watch our previous video showing how to use this DeepSeq R1 model. Let us test it again. We enter the same question, and the workflow starts running. We can see the progress of the workflow running different nodes. When it finishes, we see all the nodes are successfully executed. In the log, we can see the output of Gemma 3 Vision node. It has processed the image and replied with the content of the image. 
Also, DeepSeeker 1 has output. On the chat window, it says it does not have the ability to processing images. But, as the workflow has run successfully, we do not have any bugs. This means all the parameter settings are good in the workflow. Next, we are going to use a variable to save the image URL and pass it to the Gemma 3 model. In order to do so, we search edit fields. We click on the node and add it to the workflow. In the mode, we select manual mapping. Then, we click add field. In the name, we enter URL. We are going to add the URL of an image. Let us go to the browser and we see an X-ray image. Let us make a copy of the URL. We paste it in the box. We can test the step. It shows successful test. Now, we have the agent with the URL input and the Gemma 3 tool. We are going to replace the hard-coded image URL with the variable. We add the snippet to select the variable. We see the red instead of green color. This means there is an error. We will fix it. If we run a test, we see the output which is the URL. Other nodes did not execute. We need to connect the set node with the AI agent node. This agent has the URL variable and the Gemma 3 model in the tool. Let us test it again. We see an error showing the memory node does not have session ID. Let us click on this to open the node. We need to change the prompt source to define below. We choose expression. We enter double curly braces, and then, the dollar sign. We select, when chat message received. This is referring to the chat trigger node. We enter a dot, and select item. We enter a dot again, and select JSON. We can see the data structure on the right. We have the session ID. So, we enter a dot and select, session ID. Back on the canvas, we click on the AI agent node. In the AI agent node, we need to change the prompt source to define below. We choose expression. We drag the session ID and drop it in the box. After this, all looks good. Back on the canvas, let us test the workflow again. The workflow starts running. We can see the process and which node is on the execution. When the node is executed, the node color becomes green. Finally, we see the workflow has been successfully executed. This is very good. There is no bug or error. In the chat window, we can see the output from the DeepSeek R1. Now, we have enhanced the DeepSeek R1 model's ability by adding Gemma 3 Vision in the Agent tool. Also, if your application needs the information from Wikipedia to help DeepSeek R1 model output, we can add the wiki node in the tool. We click the plus sign and in the drop-down tools window, we can select Wikipedia and add it to the agent. Now, the DeepSeek R1 model can search Wikipedia to find the answer. This is especially useful if your application needs updated information because like other models, DeepSeek R1 model has been trained using old database before 2024, I believe. This will boost the DeepSeek R1 model capability. Hope this video helps. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.